Welcome back to the channel. Um, just one last little vlog. When you get this, it will probably be Monday. This is our last vlog from when we uh, get to Wyvern Spoon. Is it Wyvern Sea? <laughs> Wyvern Sea. Wyvern Sea. Wyvern Spoon. Keep calling it. Booza. Yes. Um, so I just thought I'd, uh, we're trying to what we're trying to do uh, more in the future is do like some some sort of timeline with this and not chop and change different things. We're trying to do that, whether that works out. <clears throat> but uh, we've had a busy day today. We've been to the uh, <laughs> opticians and then we went to the cemetery. You drove me there. You should know. You went. Yeah, I know. I just uh, it's that time of the night. Anyway, as I say, when you see this, we'll be in with them, sir. With them, sir. Not with the spoons. Yes. We, we don't even drink. How do you know that I'm in the pub? The uh, doc is waiting for his mummy to find the ball. Is it under the radiator again? Yeah, he keeps pointing. No, he's looking at the. Where's the ball? Where is it? Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, so uh, I thought I'd just end this vlog now. Uh, say goodbye, my lovely wife. Uh, to the people. Oh, I'm not going to smile because I look like I swapped a cow tanga. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll see you later. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, yeah, the next vlog you'll be something with and see. With and see. With and see. Right. Near Scarborough. Near Scarborough. It's not that near, it's about 20 miles away. Well, it's nearer than here. Well, you try walking it. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry about the wind noise. Just wanted you an update on the grass. That's almost back to normal. Uh, the robot there has been doing a fantastic job. The dog's running about after his ball. He can actually run on the grass now. So at some point I will be clearing, I'll be putting it off, putting it off, but at some point it's gonna have to be cleaned um but yeah uh there's still some patches there and there but uh i suppose i'll have to throw more seed down just there it sounds good anyway i'll see you in the next one We are, uh, we're at Asda's today, we've been there for ages, <clears throat> we're, um, Lisa's gone to get a um, eye test, she went to get a diabetes eye test the other day, uh, and she passed that, there were the op opticians or whatever they're called these days, I said there were no issues to uh, send her a report and um, yeah uh, blimey that bloke's a bit close in here look at him anyway she's just stopping as does now um, getting an eye test and uh, she's thinking about getting a new pair of glasses uh, she needs new lenses apparently but yeah so um I'll uh, I'll let you know if there's anything else going on, and I'll see you in the next one. So an hour later, waiting in the van. She's back. So how did your eyesight go? My eyes are my one eye is real bad. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, listen to this. So I showed them my glasses. They're magnetic sunglasses. Yeah. And I thought, because I really like them. But the, the lenses are too weak because the Manol pair. Oh. And I said, um, uh, can I have 
a new lens, lens. put in them. I said, because it's magnetic and the bloke who'd done my eye test, he goes, oh, them are cool. He said, um, yeah, we should be able to ask at the desk though, because he was the optician. Yeah. yeah. So when I was at the desk, I asked the woman, right? Yeah. It, do you know, it costs more I know you're to have say. them lens in that glasses. Than a new right, pair. Than two pairs. I've had two pairs of glasses. One tinted. Yeah. One sunglasses and I've paid £30 less. So guess what I went for? <laughs> the two pairs? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I think she deserves a latte, so um, we're off to McDonald's to we uh, desperately need a latte. Get a yeah. latte and then we're off to the cemetery. Yep. Um take my mum some flowers. It's her birthday, the first of June. She'll um, be at 81. We'll see you when you get there now and uh, I'll speak to you later. So Andy's just doing dinner now i'm still on my healthy dinner but uh we're having a burger i'm having a salad with mine but let me show you what it is here he is he's the chef <laughs> so peanut's got the steak now that's had spray oil in but we had these from aldi i think they're on offer 1.99 the burgers but them kind of like thin ones but I think that's one night now for what you get four in a pack so Andy's gonna cook them in the frying pan um on the spray oil I mean to be honest you probably don't need oil in because these non-stick pans are usually when it's cooked I put mine on kitchen uh, thing kitchen towel just to um get the excess fat off but they will shrink, but one ninety nine. So Aldi smash burgers. Got some small buns, onions. Can you uh, ask me a key tell my little jelly top? <laughs> this is the oil we use. Um, I think it's Aldi or Lidl one on you know, a couple of quid maybe. Probably not in that much. Um. But yeah, it's it's a lot better than using oil. So he's gonna chuck some onions in. I've done a are you cooking the onions? In there once the steak's done. Oh okay, so but yeah, that's sad dinner anyway today. Um yeah, health healthy-ish, healthy-ish. So let's turn it round. If you can Yeah. Please cook it. What? The airphone needs to go on. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Um, so the airphone, the story needs to go on. That needs to go on 200, number one. Right, so this is a deal. Hash brown tomatoes. So. Number one. One air fryer. 200 for. 10 minutes. And that's that. And that one, ten minutes. Oh, Andy's having a few chips with this. So this is a kasori. This is a brilliant air fryer. Dual uh, blaze cooks underneath and the top. Um, 180 for how long? Ten minutes. It's already on the air fryer. I do like my salmon cooked in this because it cooks, like I said, the underneath part. So yes. Everybody's not everybody wants to watch cooking videos, but it's mainly because of these anyway We'll have to let you know on a, another video how we find these So yes, that looks really nice and there's cheese dripping down So We'll speak to you later yeah. A few days before we go away to with and see uh, Andy's going to clean some windows with the window vac, so <laughs> I thought while he's doing a little bit of work, which ain't often, get him on camera, so let me get my, no I'll get my coffee in a minute, right, let me just turn you around, the grass is looking a little bit better, so right, let's have a look, needs all tidying up now, we have got a vacuum, garden vac thing it's looking a bit better 
I don't mention uh, I want the fence painting. Right. Andy's showing me how it's done. Winder is um, tinted as well. It's just it keeps the uh, the sun out really. Because that. Done, you Should have left it there. You leave a mark on. There you go. You've left marks on. That's that's it. That's my blender. Just got to do a small one now. Which is. Weird because we've got the camera up there watching us. <laughs> we notice when it's getting nicer weather, it's where you do things like this. It's called a spring clean, isn't it? That's what yeah. It's, called. it's just that spring has been very wet. Very quick. I can't I don't know if I mentioned for them logs here. Um, look a bit weird having logs like that in the garden, but them are from my my dad's house. He had a massive tree in the back, and. Um, just before he died, he had it chopped down, and um, of course he died. And I thought, take some of the logs back, and that's why I've got them logs. When it's night time, it does light up. It needs to be sorted out there now because the grass is overgrowing. So, but we've got windows and ice cream. Yeah, very nice. You can drink your tea now, you've uh, you've earned it. <laughs> Say goodbye then. Goodbye.